right there. Is it working? Okay, so we're gonna hit a little upper back. That's where you use the preacher curl bench. Lay over it the other side this way, letting it kind of drape. We're gonna start with palms in. Five. So I did five to the outside. Straight left to right. Nine o'clock, three o'clock. Now I'm gonna aim 10 o'clock, two o'clock. So here, more out to the front at 10 and two. So five that way. Then I'm gonna get another five back at nine and three o'clock. Now my last five is back at 10 o'clock and two o'clock. <sighs> Nine and three, ten and two. there so we need each spot done twice five 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 Stay right there. Just breathe. That shit sucks. <laughs> Just breathe. You want to hit it again? Yeah. And it's pushing into your chest. So you almost have to treat it like you're scuba diving. I mean, snorkeling. Try to take your deep breath. And what I try to do is get three, four reps out of that one breath so I don't choke out. <laughs> but I still end up choking out by the time you get around 12, 13, 14. No matter what you do. <laughs> All right, let's hit it again. Same thing. Nine and three for five, then ten and two for five. Then nine and three, then ten and two. You got this. Really feel that weight up at the top. Make those rear delts pull and push all the way into the outer limits of the trap. Even that piece of your lat sitting right there behind your armpits. There we go. Lay all that fold up back in. Little shoulder blades come together. Ah, come on. Come on, you got this. There's one. Up. 
two, a little higher, man. Up and pull it. There's three, better. A little more on the negative. Four. Come on. Up. And five. So we still got five and five again, right? All right. Now let's have some fun and really fuck it up. Let's turn them thumb to thumb. Change the whole game in it. So what we're going to have to do now is lean back down the exact same way and turn the dumbbells facing into each other. Now what you want to pretend, what you want to pretend you're doing is like you got a big rubber band in between your hands and you're trying to pull it straight apart. But it's a rubber band so it has this constant tension. That's where you want to think of it. And stretch it and then let it come back in smoother, Gerard. Stretch it. Now here, let me help you. Ready? Open up. One. Back down. Up. Two. Back down. Up. Three. We just let them get shorter. Up. Uh, right there. Just let it keep getting shorter. Up as high as we can. Uh, and then back in. Again. Come on. Uh, again. We got a couple more. Again. Uh, and see, I move my hands down lower and lower uh, to give him a little more leverage. When I get down and we're pushing uh, the dumbbells, now I can really uh, force it. All right. And watch your toes. Uh, <laughs> there we go. Nice. And see, turning them thumb in to thumb in is way harder than palms facing each other. Now, if you really want to get nasty, where are those 20s at? Those 25s would be too heavy. I'll show you guys one more for rear delts. It's absolutely disgusting. And I like to use these small 20s. They look small, but they're 20 pounds. So don't let size don't let the size fool you. Alright. Now to throw a real shocker into it. You know how at first, back up for me. You know how at first we had palms to palms. Then we did thumbs to thumbs. Now we're gonna really fuck it up and do back of the hand to back of the hands. What I like to do is put all the thumb and fingers on one side of the bar of the dumbbell where everything's on this side, okay? So we're gonna lean back over. I'm gonna get in position and I'm gonna turn the back of my hands to each other like this. And so now it's kind of like playing peekaboo behind the curtain. I'm gonna 